So you'll need to pick the yarn color. So I have Baby B yarn in Pea Pod. You'll need a stitch marker to mark the beginning of your rows. And you'll need your needles. So for this we're using size 6 circular needles. You either can use a 24 or a 16 inch cable. So to get started you want to cast on 136 stitches. Once you have your stitches all cast on, just make sure that they're straight. They're all facing one way, no twists in your stitches. Gonna place your stitch marker and you're gonna begin a seed stitch for three rows. And this will just prevent our edge from folding up. So just gonna start with the knit one, purl one, and then repeat that all the way across and repeat seed stitch for three rows. So after you do your three rows of seed stitch, you're just going to work ten rows in knit. Knit every row because we're in the round, it'll create our stockinette stitch. So after your three, just work ten rows of knit. Now we're going to begin our decrease for the brim. So for our decrease row, we want to decrease five stitches in total in this round. So every, so you're just going to knit 27 stitches and then knit two together and repeat that all the way across this row. So when you get down to your last decrease, you'll notice that you'll only be doing 18 stitches and then you'll end with your knit two together. So now that we've decreased five stitches in total, we're down to 131 stitches. So now we're just going to go ahead and do a plain knit row. So after you complete your knit row, we're going to do another decrease and this time we're going to knit 26 and then do our knit two together. And just like the last time, your final decrease will be short a couple stitches, so just end with a knit two together. Then after we do our decreases, we'll be down to the stitches we'll be staying with, which will be 126. Then we're just going to work 6 inches for the body of our hat before we start our crown decreases. So once you have your 6 inches, we're going to start our crown decrease. So we want to decrease 9 stitches evenly across. So we're going to start off by knitting 12. After your 12, you're going to knit two together. And you're just going to repeat that all the way across till you've decreased your nine stitches, which will take you down to 117. So for row two and all even rows of our decrease, we're just going to knit a plain row. So for row three, we're going to go ahead and knit 11. Then we're going to knit two together and we're going to place a stitch marker. Now this is going to help us with our decrease rows placing the stitch marker. So you want to place them after every decrease around this entire row. So you're just going to knit 11, knit two together, place a stitch marker. So once you've placed your markers after every decrease this row, make sure you know or have a different marker for the beginning of a round. So you know which one are your decrease stitch markers and your new row stitch markers. So now you're just going to work a plain knit for row 4. And then from now on, we're going to repeat our decrease row where we knit up to the two stitches before our stitch marker and then knit those two together and then repeat all the way around and we're going to repeat a decrease row and a plain knit row until we reach 63 stitches. Then we're going to do decreases every row until we reach 9 stitches. 
So just continue how you've been where you knit up to the last two before your marker, knit two together, and just keep repeating those decreases until you end with nine stitches in total. Then all you do is pull the tail through the stitches, tighten up the hat and weave in all your ends, and your hat is finished. You could also add this decorative flower, which the video will be up in a couple days, and when it is, you can click here if you'd like to make it, and you just attach it to your hat. So I hope you enjoyed this hat. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.